Hi, I'm Jonathan, a master's student in renewable energy from uh, the Ecole Polytechnique Paris. Recently I uh, undertook a, a project research within uh, an organic electronic research lab located in Montreal, uh, supervised by uh, Clara Santato. And one of the uh, research, uh, one of the project objective is to uh, investigate the interfacial uh, processes occurring uh, in disensitized solar cells to, uh, let's say, further improve their energy conversion uh, efficiency. So basically, uh, the principle, uh, the principle of power generation of disensitized solar cells is uh, it's pretty amazing. It's really, it's very similar to that of uh, photosynthesis of plants. And uh, okay, the basic components are um, a photoanode, which is here, uh, titanium dioxide, a semiconducting nanoporous film. You have a cathode, um, dye molecules, and an electrolyte, uh, an electrolyte containing a redox kappa. But the problem is, uh, the majority of uh, electrolytes are based on a highly volatile organic solvents, and uh, which actually pose a, a key issue for the implementation of uh, stable uh, devices. So an alternative to this is uh, to use an ionic liquid. It's uh, actually a molten salt uh, at room temperature. But uh, the problem is, the thing is, when you replace an organic solvent by an ionic liquid, okay, you improve the, the stability, so that's exa exactly what we are looking for, but you also lower the energy conversion uh, efficiency, and we actually want to understand why that. Okay, so you have actually, we, we wanted to, to focus on the interface between the TiO2 and the ionic liquid. And the thing is, you have a reorganization of ions in the ionic liquid and electrons in the semiconductor, forming uh, what is called an electrical double layer. And as it is uh, very thin, uh, a few nanometers, you have a high capacitance, high charge accumulation, and uh, let's say high electric fields surrounding the electrical double layer. And uh, we wanted to know if this electrical double layer has uh, an influence or not on the charge transport. So for this we use uh, what is called an electrolyte gated thin film transistor. So basically you have three electrodes, source, drain and gate. Between source and drain you have the TiO2, on top of it you have the ionic liquid and the gate. And what we noticed is uh, when you applied a very low voltage, gate voltage, you, have, uh, you can actually modulate the conductivity inside the channel for very low voltage, under one volt. So the thing is, if you can modulate the, the conductivity, it means that you have, uh, let's say, an accumulation of charges at the interface. And this accumulation of charges uh, might be due to the electrical double layer. Yeah. And we wanted to make sure if uh, this is an, actu uh, an electrical double layer or not. So we used uh, another technique, which is uh, the electrochemical impedance spectroscopy. And from the, the shapes of the plots we obtained, the Bud and Nyquist, uh, we actually came up with uh, an equivalent circuit, which is this one here, and we calculated the capacitance of the double layer, and it was very high, like a few uh, microfarads per uh, centimeter square. So, uh, let's say in conclusion, this high capacitance uh, does affect the transport of uh, electrons in the semiconductor and ions in the ionic liquid. So it might be uh, at the root of, uh, let's say, the efficiency decrease of ionic liquid-based disensitized solar cells. And in perspective, we uh, still want to study this interface, but now in a real uh, disensitized solar cells, just like, uh, like this one here. But instead of having uh, an organic solvent, we're going to use an ionic liquid. And we're gonna, we want to see if the, the capacitance Let's say the capacitance, the electrical double layer capacitance is uh, evolving uh, as a function of temperature under, uh, under light and in the dark. So we can, say, we can uh, choose, let's say, suitable uh, ionic liquids uh, leading to uh, better, better overall efficiencies, I would say. Thank you very much. Well, you got your pee and you take your in and you make a pee in junction. It's got an electric field that's built right in that gives it special function. Cause when you shine the light and the wavelengths right, you can gather some charges. And they'll do the work of maybe charge a battery or power electric barges.
solar energy, solar energy. We can have our fun with the power from the sun using good old PV.